Hello, Norman families. I am Stephanie Williams, Executive Director of Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion for Norman Public Schools. I am also a former middle school teacher and principal. As we prepare for our virtual start to the school year on August 24th, we know you may have many questions about what the school day will look like. I am here to talk to you about a typical day along with answering some common questions regarding what our middle school students and our families can expect as we are all preparing for, for that first day. To begin, we want parents and students to know that this will not look like what it did in the spring and one of our many goals is for students to gain not academic knowledge through a virtual setting, along with building relationships with their teachers and their classmates. Our technology services team is working to ensure all families have adequate devices and internet connectivity to participate in virtual learning. If you are in need of technology assistance, please contact your school site. The learning management system we will be using for all secondary students is Canvas. Canvas is a platform from which learning will occur in a virtual classroom by supporting instruction, assignments, videos and discussions, and overall academic planning. Students will be provided instruction on how to utilize Canvas during the first week of school. In addition, parents can access and monitor their child's Canvas account by signing into the Norman Public Schools app. We've created a weekly schedule to provide routine and structure for students, teachers, and families. Middle school students will meet with half of their teachers two days a week, and then we'll meet with the other half of their teachers on the other two days of the week to ensure that there are no conflicts between classes. This leaves one day that we have reserved for additional help, office hours, and tutoring. This day will also be structured so that students can ask their teacher questions, work in small groups, or discuss any other academic needs. They can also use the time to complete assignments, catch up on readings, or watch videos. In addition, there are built-in times for advisories and club meetings so that we can continue to build community and relationships with our students and their peers. As for attendance and grades, there will be alternative ways for students to demonstrate their participation as well as demonstrate their knowledge for each class. Students can show this through a variety of ways such as logging in each day, touching base with their teachers electronically, submitting material, or participating in live sessions. We know that there may be conflicts or other situations that may arise that could cause a student to be absent from a virtual class. So please know that teachers will post recordings and have various ways that the student can demonstrate their participation and their knowledge. The key is communication. Be sure to touch base with your teacher to discuss any absences or issues as they arise. I hope that this has given you some insight into what the virtual learning experience will look like for middle school level. Know that you can find all information about the schedules and back to school plans for the district on the website at normanpublicschools.org slash back to school. You will also receive information from your child's school on the schedule and please reach out to your school administrators for any questions you may have. Thank you, and we look forward to virtually seeing everyone on the first day of school, August 24th.